So I'm going to do a series of video, video tutorials um, showing how we can use Qt to create a GUI and then integrate it with my NGL graphics library. So first off I've got a directory here which I've just called Qt NGL and I'm going to build up um, my directory structure so that we get um, it conforming to the coding standards. So mkdir include, the includes will go, source where all the source CPP files will go, obj where all the .os will go, we're going to have a directory called bin where the executable will run from, we're going to have a directory called mock where Qt will put all the meta object compiler CPP files that it generates so it keeps it away from our source tree because um, this is auto generated code. We'll have one called UI where we're going to put all our user interface files which Qt uses in the designer and we will also create one called shaders where we'll put all our GLSL shaders that we're going to use for the graphics part of things. So if we create that you'll see that we've got a series of directories and for ease what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-generate an empty Qt creator project which I can then load up and use um, within my own project. So I'm going to use the touch command which will just generate an empty file if it doesn't exist and I will call it qtngl.pro. So now we have our directory structure and an empty project. So if we open up using Qt Creator the empty project that should fire up Qt Creator for us there. I'm using the latest um, Qt SDK version of um, Qt Creator. It is beta but it's incredibly stable. Um, we're going to turn off the remote compiler in this case. Um, you will obviously get a different um, one. Click on done and you'll see that it's opened up an empty project and we can see here we've got the usual stuff. Now also I'm going to change the shadow build to be our current build. We do this with NGL projects because when the executable in the bin directory is running it will look for resources relative to that so for example dot dot slash shaders is where the shaders are kept and so on. Apart from that this will um, work fine for now.